hello, and peace be upon you this evening. I do thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2. And we're going to move right along in the Extraordinary African Americans. The next Extraordinary African American is Gordon Parks. Now he's a photographer, movie director, and writer during the time period of 1912. And this is the information I have on Mr. Parks. I didn't know what lay ahead of me, but I believed in myself. Gordon Parks, a choice of weapons. Now, Gordon Parks was born in Fort Scott, Kansas. He was the youngest of 15 children. Yeah, you heard me. I said 15 children. His mother died when he was 15 years old. And he supported himself by working as a dishwasher, piano player, farmhand, and waiter. Life was hard. In 1929, the stock market crashed, bringing on the Great Depression. Jobs were hard to find. So Parks joined the Civilian Conservation Corps, a government program set up to provide work and job training for unemployed young people. Now, in 1938, Parks brought a used camera for $7.50, moved to Chicago, and began his career as a photographer. After working for the Farm Security Administration, taking pictures of poor people to provide a documentary history for a government agency, he received a World War II assignment to photograph members of the 32nd Fighter Group, an all-black unit of fighter pilots. Excuse me. Now, in 1949, he joined the staff of Life magazine. Parks photographed everything from gang members in Harlem to fashion models in Paris to poverty-stricken slum dwellers in Brazil. He covered the developing civil rights movement as well as the black power movement. Now, Parks' first book, the Learning Tree in 1963 is still listed on many schools' reading list. The Learning Tree was made into a movie, which Parks directed, making him the first African American director of a major feature film. Parks also directed. Flavio, Shaft, Shaft's Big Score, Diary of a Harlem Family, and The Super Cops. He continued to write books and take pictures. For years, many Americans had considered the thoughts and feelings of African Americans unimportant. Gordon Parks' photographs helped change that. So we certainly do uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Parks, for your photographs helping to change that, the feelings of African Americans, um, doing the fact that some thought it was unimportant, you certainly brought relevance to it and made it be important. And I do thank you for tuning in to Poem Praise 2 uh, regarding uh, this extraordinary African American, Mr. Parks. Now, I'm going to give you a preview of the next extraordinary African American that's coming up. And the next one that's coming up is going to be Percy 
Lavon, Julian. A chemist during the time period of 1899 to 1975. So I look forward to speaking with you soon. So certainly stay tuned and be blessed. And I'll holler at you in a little bit, okay? All right. Later.